don't be afraid to play. I like to play. Greetings, denizens of Dunedin. I'm the totally egocentric single white teddy bear. And you can call me awesome Algernon, second to none. I'm available, ladies. But right now, at this moment in time, I am here to interview a bizarre creature called Kez. Hello, Kiz Bazaar! So, what's life like as a fringe artist? Why do you think you are fringe? Hmm? Thank you for this opportunity and interviewing me. That's really cool. Nobody else would, because I'm a fringe artist. Well, that's... I do think I'm a fringe artist. Um, I've never really been accepted by the mainstream. I think it could be a wonderful pain in the ass being a fringe artist because you never quite fit in, but it gives you an extra dimension to life, the way you see life, experience life. Making something out of nothing is what really gives me the buzz out of life. Uh, it's as vital as breathing to me as a creative soul, and I suppose to a lot of you out there as well. Unfortunately, our created artworks aren't usually uh, appreciated fiscally. But never mind, because we just keep on creating them. And they'll probably be worth something uh, 60 years after our death. But never mind. It's both a blessing and a curse, being a fringe artist. Now, to your art. How long have you been drawing and painting? Mm. I've been drawing since I was 18 months old, and painting since I was about 7. Do you think that makes you better than the rest of us? Absolutely not. Anyone can and should get into something creative at any age. Any age. What, pray tell, inspires your art? Hmm? My dreams, my imagination, Nature, society, dwellers of the fringe zone, see through the miasma of the daily grind, and we don't like what we see. And my cats, hmm, yes. Are you self-taught or tertiary educated? I suppose you could say I'm self-taught, but self-taught is a strange term because I'm always learning off other people. I did try a tertiary education, but it didn't really appeal to me, so I went my own way. And I like to have my own time to try with whatever materials tickle my imagination and provoke thought. Hmm, you're also into music. How long have you been doing that? As a kid, but no, they didn't really inspire me much. I much but prefer no, just striking really random notes. And I much prefer seeing just striking random sounds put together. Seeing what would happen with sounds, sounds, sounds things like that. And all sorts of um, I did a bit of recording, like which I called um, Radio Worm. I did a bit of recording, which I was old, that Radio was like my own when I was radio about ten station. years old. That was like my own in which I radio um, station made up my own stuff. In which I story made up my own stuff. Uh, yeah, it wasn't until I was yeah. in my twenties that uh, I actually it got wasn't until I was in my twenties that I actually got into experimenting voice. with sound and voice. Do you think your music is fringe? Hmm, I think that my music is fringe because it's not actually music. What other creative stuff do you do? The random acts of creativity that can strike at any time. Humour need not be justified. Oh, 